Hello everybody. I got two CAN module with uh, two STM32. One got a display, other one has a potentiometer. I'm going to change the value of the potentiometer, increasing. It increased. You can also have two display and two potentiometer. There's another potentiometer here. I'm going to change it. It's zero. Now it's increasing to maximum. And now decreasing again to zero. Let's get started with this. The CAN module I'm using is this one. It got 8 megahertz crystal. Some of them have different megahertz crystal. And this is the SPA connection we need to use. And this is the CAN high and CAN low. There's a jumper here. Uh, you need to connect this jumper. If you don't have a jumper, uh, you need to put a wire to connect this one. So I'm using this jumper. That's for the end node only. You can also use a jumper wire like this. Just connect those two pins. The wiring diagram is here. Follow this pin label and this label. 5 volt to VCC and ground to ground. Same 5 volt and VCC come to this VCC and ground. And B7 to SDA, B6 to SCL. Similarly, these pins to here and also the potentiometer. And uh, we have the same setup, two setup like this and uh, high goes to high and low goes to ho lo low and this has to be a twisted pair. The wiring connection is here. Let's zoom into the first module. The potentiometer is here and the wire for the CAN module goes to here and this one goes to the next CAN module like this and those wire goes here and then the display is here. The CAN module with the 8 megahertz is here. That one connected to this STM32. So I am connected the ST-Link to that module first. In the Cube IDE, we create a new project, STM32 project. For the part number, I put F103C8. This is the one. Next. Uh, name I put CAN. Finish. Now we can zoom in. Uh, click system core. Sys. For the debug, select serial wire. And RCC. We select uh, crystal ceramic resonator for the high speed clock. And uh, clock configuration, we change this to maximum 72 megahertz. Okay. Come back to pinout on configuration. And um, we select uh, connectivity. There is a CAN uh, bus. We don't use this one. We use the SPI CAN. We select SPI and then full duplex master. And the parameter setting, uh, we change the prescaler so that the board rate less than 10 megabits. So I change this to 8. So we get 9 megabit, megabits. Um, PA4, we change this as the GPA output. And then we right click and then enter user label. I use uh, can CS. We have to use the same name can underscore CS. Enter and uh, I2C1. Uh, I2C and then the speed fast mode. This is for the display. And uh, we go to analog ADC1. Uh, we go to in 9 and we tick this one so the pb pin pb1 is selected that's where we connected the potentiometer and also we change this to uh, continuous conversion to enabled and there's some problem with the clock configuration um, that's a prescaler so we divide by maybe six that's all the setting we can click save generate the code so the code I have given in the in my website the link is in the description below this is the one um, diagram is here and the cube ID setting is here just we have done make sure you have done all of them the pin user label is can CS that's we done uh, and the library I have taken from this website uh, there are eight files four of them in the inc folder other 
for in a src folder these four files for the display and these four files for the canvas so we click first one so right click and save as we go to the project folder this is where i have the project this is the can and go to core inc folder and we save similarly do all of them this one right click save as save go back click right click save as here they put the txt also we just delete the txt make sure it's dot h file save go back the last one save as also we delete the txt here save go back now the, this file core src folder select this one right click save as now we go to core go to src folder and then save likewise we save all of them next one right click save as save this one right click save as and we need to delete the dot txt save and finally this one save as delete the txt save come back uh, go to the ide and make sure you got those library right click this one and refresh and make sure you got those files so these are the files now here also right click refresh now we got all those libraries now in the main.c file these are the code i have given so we just copy and paste in the includes we paste these three lines that is here we here we paste it and then uh, in the user code 2 we copy from here until here and we paste it in the user code 2 that's here we paste it and uh, in the while loop we copy from here until here we paste it here done now we can save also we need to change something um, in the can spa.c file we go to uh, line number 100 uh, 38 here we write the uh, this for the board rate we set the register values i have in the website i have given um here the board rate setting uh, for 8 megahertz crystal these are the setting and uh, like that uh, here is for the 16 megahertz and also for the 20 megahertz so the first uh, module has the 8 megahertz uh, crystal so i'm going to use the um, 250 uh, kbps so that's so 00, 00 b1 and 85 so 00, 00 b1 and 85 so we can click save and also in this file we delete this one or, or comment it out and then we save so in the main.c file i'll tell what's happening uh, we have the read value for the potentiometer this is how we this is the receive read value um, there are uh, two string for the uh, display to print uh, there's a can message receive and transmit and receive and this is how we start the adc 
for the poten potentiometer and initialize the can and initialize the display and uh, do some test printing mm. and then we pull for conversion get the read value and uh, we set those value for the TX message so this is the ID it can be from uh, 1 to 7 FF so I'm putting some random ID and put DLC 8 maximum 8 8 bytes we can send that's why I put 8 uh, for the first 5 bytes I put STM32 as a uh, character and uh, this one I'll leave it as it is and 6 and 7 I put the potentiometer value potentiometer value is um, 16 bit yeah so but uh, the can can transmit only 8 bit value so I'm going to break the read value into uh, two 8 bit values as, as I have shown in here and the transmit and from the other module whatever if we receive the can message it comes in the rx message and then i get those rx message put into string and then uh, we put in the display and the value also come in two eight bits as, as we have sent it from here other module will send so i'm going to reconstruct to one uh, uh, 16 bit value in this way and then I print to the screen uh, that's all we can upload the code we click this button yeah, it's done now I'm going to remove the ST link from this one and connected the ST link to the 16 megahertz scan module that is connected here so I change the ST link here now for the other module we can use the exactly same setup and code only few changes we need to do go to can uh, this is the value we can we, we we need to change if you use the different crystal for the other module because i am using the different crystal so if you go there so uh, this is for the 8 megahertz 250 we have to use the same 250 kbps for the other module then only it can communicate so other one has the 8 no, 16 megahertz so we go below 16 megahertz with the uh, 250 it has to be same then only it can transmit and receive each other so I need to put this value 41 F1 H5 so you go there uh, this is uh, 41 this is F1 and 85 now we can save and also we need to we can do some changes in the main.c file so to see the different values instead of stm32 i'm going to put my name nisa so so we know that it comes from the different modules so yeah that's uh, also the id we can put any value um i put one two sorry one six seven so that's all this difference we can click save all and we can upload the code everything else are same yeah it's done i have uploaded the code there's one potentiometer here another one is here so i'm going to use this screwdriver to change so i'm increasing increasing highest value and i'm going to decrease decreasing with zero i'm going to decrease again thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye